The land swap was meant to end territorial tensions that emerged after the 1991 fall of the Soviet Union. The two regions used to be parts of the Chechen English Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic, and they split a year after the Soviet collapse. Instead of ending the tensions, the land swap angered the Ingushetians. We are outraged today because the heads of the two regions decided to swap lands without asking people. Protesters are calling for the resignation of the head of state Yunus Bekyev Kurov, claiming that the swap is detrimental to their region and beneficial to Chechnya. We want our territory to remain ours. It was ours before. We want to keep it this way. Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov enjoys Moscow's support for being able to keep the volatile region under control. But he is also working to establish his own dominant role in the Caucasus, says analyst Peter Yeltsov. He feels like he's a kind of a king in the northern Caucasus and he doesn't obey any law. I mean, he claims his allegiance so only directly to Vladimir Putin. So he thinks that he can do whatever he wants to do. And the borders, needless to say, uh, in this part of the former Soviet Union are extremely arbitrary. The Caucasus is home to more than 50 ethnic groups, the Chechens being the largest. Many of those groups do not have their own borders or government, and most live in poverty. They suffered purges during the Stalin era. In more recent history, Moscow has waged two major wars against Chechen separatists and now keeps the entire northern Caucasus region under tight control. Violence could erupt at any time in the Caucasus, says Yeltsov. The northern Caucasus is extremely volatile. It can cause a major global war all, uh, all over Eurasia and at the least the disintegration of the Russian Federation. Deep-seated grievances in the area make it a breeding ground for terrorist groups. Rights advocates and Western governments, including the United States, have condemned the abuse of human rights and a lack of basic freedoms in the Russian Caucasus. Zlarica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.